What's going on my lovely little slasher fans? Slay and Asher here bringing you a brand new LP for the channel. We are finally getting around to this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I had originally planned on playing it on the PS2, but then Sony did the most awesome thing ever and put it up for download on the PS4, so I snatched it up. Rogue Galaxy. This game was amazing. It came out towards the end of the lifespan for the PS2, yes. This game came out right when the PS3 was becoming a thing. You know, not a lot of people picked it up, but it is one of my favorite games. No, we are not doing an intro video. No. 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 What? I don't know. I didn't want to do this. The game's making me do this, people. I'm not doing this. I promise. The game's making me. No, no, no. What? No! What are we doing? I wasn't done talking! Thank you. Stinking game. Oi! But anyway, anyway, anyway. As soon as I saw it come out, I knew I had to play this game on the channel. Now, the thing about this is I'm going to do this LP as close to 100% as I can. I'm going to attempt to platinum the game, which I know is not going to be easy. I've only managed to platinum one other game on the PlayStation, on any PlayStation console, and that was the PS3 version of the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I platinum that. That is an impossibly hard trophy to get, but I got it. You know what? We're going to go here to the options menu real quick and open it so it doesn't do anything else. And hopefully y'all aren't picking up too much on the sound outside my house. Solid waste is around picking up everybody's piles of trash we leave on the curb. I mean, if you live in a city, you know what I'm talking about. But, like I said, I am going to do this game as close to 100% as I can. I can't guarantee I'll get everything. Because some of it will probably frustrate me to a point I'm going to leave it alone. But it will be as close to 100% as possible. And another thing I want to bring up right now. What do y'all think of this layout? Huh? 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 It's a little different for me too, isn't it? Having a layout with, you know, video in one spot, little banners and camera and... Well, no camera for this game, but maybe in the future. Y'all never know. But, all that being said, I hope y'all are hyped for this brand new series because it's like I said, it is one of my favorite games of all time. I'd say it probably ranks top five easily for me, if not top three. But, all that being said, I guess let's go ahead and go back to the main menu here. As soon as it decides it wants to finish showing the logo. And let's go ahead and click on ourselves. New game. <clears throat> Story. The war that divides the galaxy has cast its shadow upon the distant desert planet Rosa. Highly valued for its natural resources, Rosa has long been under direct control of the Longardian Federation in an attempt to prevent invasion by the Draxian Empire. Under Longordia's watchful eye, the enslaved Rosans now find themselves forbidden to leave the planet. Ain't that some shit? Being told you can't go nowhere. That, that's booty right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. And this is a nice little animated sequence, and I'm gonna talk, because anybody who watches YouTube videos knows sequences, or does YouTube video sequences like these, can get you copyright claimed, and I don't want to deal with that, because it's a headache, then I can't monetize the video, and I, it's just a, uh, it's, it's just a gigantic headache at the end of the day, but this is the main character of the game, this is Jaster. He is a native to the planet Rosa. I always did enjoy this intro because it's like, hey, there's actually water coming out of that canteen. Trapped within this desert wasteland. And I don't know if they're talking right now. I hope they are because I'm not reading this. It's not going to end like this. Look at that. He put a little bit of water on his skeleton way. camel, I guess is what that is. I swear it. I guess that's a skeleton camel. I don't know what it is, but it's badass looking. I kind of want one. Can you imagine riding around town on something like that? The looks you'd get from people, they'd be like, What the hell is this thing? But anyway, looks like we're actually going to get into the gameplay a little bit now. So, here it is. 
Ah, here's two more characters. Are you sure he's in this backwards bumpkin town. The information came from a credible source. This is Simon and Steve. Simon's a short one, Steve's the robot. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be Steve's always been one of my favorite characters. Simon, eh, you know, he's he's useful. My instincts are infallible. Like I'm gonna trust a robot's instincts. Ooh, hey man, that's 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 racist. You can't be saying things like that. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, all right? Really? See why my phone is blinking at me out of the corner of my eye. There we go. You better come through on this. I know, I know. All right, are we finally gonna get to do something other than just watch things go on? Here's hoping. And also, if the game audio is too low and my mic audio is a little too loud, let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of having to tinker with my audio a bit because I've been having a lot of problems. Move my mic up a little more away from my mouth. So, if there are problems, please let me know so I can adjust them in the future. It's unfortunately part of being a content creator. I... I toy around with things so on and so forth but like i said if there's any problems just let me know down below okay guys and gals because i'm sure there's a few women out there who subscribe to my channel too gaming knows no gender that didn't look like much money that bag was very very light we didn't bring that much with us you know Ooh, rude besides slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rash jackasses that's what they are. Jackass. Doing this for my health, you know. You tell him, Jaster. What a bunch of douche pickles. This is all that I got today. I also want to apologize ahead of time in case y'all can hear me when I take drinks of my water. I tried not to make it noticeable, but it happened, so sorry if y'all can hear it. Since Rose has been under Lone Guardian rule, they're still struggling to get here. This guy must be some kind of priest. I can't really remember his name off the top of my head. And I'm sure Jaster just said it and I wasn't paying attention. Mixed up in this war. Whoa, that sword just clipped through that bench. It used to be such a peaceful planet. I mean wait. Oh, I almost had his name in my head. Raul? Is that his name? I think it's Raul. The gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. Well, the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. That's not good. The whole screen's vibrating. Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one, by the way. Dude! What? What's that little altar there do? Take care of it. Just her wait. Don't worry. I'll behave. He's not going to behave. Whoa. That is a pretty good sized monster. My goodness. That thing? This is bad. It's heading for the residential area. Oh, no. Oh. Uh -huh. Damn. I'm surrounded. Okay, let's see if I can do this and not die. Oh, who is this enigmatic fellow? Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. Well, I know who he is, but I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all. Tails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these jumps off first. Here we go. Basic battle controls. X fire or X makes you sword swing, square fires your gun, and circle makes you jump. Press R1 to guard against attacks. Some attacks can't be stopped. That's just the way it goes. Open the menu. You can open your menu in the middle of battle. Hit triangle. You can bring it up. It'll let you heal yourself and such. But let me go ahead and, and be warned. You do have a stamina bar. That's that thing directly above my HP. The blue thing that's slowly ticking down. The action gauge. 
Always keep an eye on the action gauge. Uh, yeah, you should keep a, an eye on it. Once the action gauge is depleted, question, or question mark, really? I can't English today. Exclamation point is displayed and you can no longer attack. Wait for the gauge to recharge while moving around and guarding. Once the gauge is fully charged, attack your signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see attack. But if you're guarding while your gauge is empty and an enemy attacks you and you successfully guard, it's an automatic refill. Come on, come on. Alright, got him. Again, I try not to button mash and make a lot of noise with the buttons in the background, but it's kind of hard to avoid. The PS4 controller is a really, really clicky sound. That wasn't even a warm-up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now. Hmm, I wonder who this guy is. I mean, like I said, I know who he is, but... Residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000 what? 20,000? What are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. He's a bounty hunter. Oh, he's actually in our party for the moment. Now, one thing you need to know about this game. You need to look in every nook and cranny. Don't they ever quit? Because the creators of this game, level 5, were buttheads and put treasure chests everywhere. They put them in buildings. They put them on the sides of buildings. They put them behind trees, three houses down from your grandma's house. I mean, they put them everywhere. This keeps up. The town's gonna so my first word of advice is if you're going to play along with me and you purchase this game on the PlayStation Network, look everywhere. I'm not mistaken, there's even treasure chests here inside the church. See? See? Everywhere. They put them everywhere. And as far as I can remember, there is no ability that allows you to see treasure chests on the map. Maybe there is, though. It's like I said, it's been a long time since I, like, played through this game beginning to end. I mean, I've got a file that y'all will see when I save where I've been playing the game in my own time, but I'm nowhere near the beginning of the game. And he's just, he's, like, hurtling those pews, like, hardcore hurtling them. Okay. Go ahead and move forward here. We might catch a battle because I went inside the church. I'm not sure. But it's like I said, you, you need to pan around and look everywhere. They are good about making treasure chests have that white glow around them. Abu Dhabi? Dude! That's kind of a... If things start to get hairy up ahead, use the transporter. Know your way around it? I know my way around it, yes. Transporter functions. You can save. If you lose during a battle, it's game over, so be sure to save frequently. Copyright King Nappy. Only you can prevent lost save data. You gotta save all the time. Okay, press start button. Choose teleport to teleport to another transporter already active on the planet. You cannot teleport between worlds. Sorry, that's just how it works. We have a way to get to other worlds, though. Don't worry, we're not gonna spend this whole time on the planet Rosa. If you walk through a transporter, it will completely restore your HP and AP, which is your MP in this game. That's a big thing to remember because that can save your butt when you're grinding. It's also a great way to grind is to be nearby a transporter. But let's go ahead and head right over here. Use transporter. Now, it's like I said, we're going to go to save. Y'all are going to see a file I've got. As you can tell, I've got a lot of hours sunk into it. I'm not going to say that that's, like, perfect because I did fall asleep a few times. So, you know, it's the way it goes. Let's go ahead and create this save file. All right. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Oh, we got enemies. What do we got? The lock-on function. Target an enemy by using the directional buttons. Once you've locked onto an enemy, attacking it is a cinch. If you want to turn it off or on, you press down. Use the left and right to switch between targets. Auto lock-on. I may turn it on because... It is kind of useful.
Using your gun to push an enemy away is a good option if it's closing in on you. As you can see what I just did there by pushing it back using my gun. And then attacking it straight on with my sword. The map display. Press the select button while traveling to display a map of your surroundings. These markers are used to indicate when there's a door or gate on the map. So that's a good thing to remember, and that's another thing. You need to make sure you explore all the houses. Because they hide treasure in houses, too. I'm telling you, level 5 is sadistic when it comes to hunting around for treasure chests. They are sadistic. Alright, what do we got? Statue dogs. Like I said, I'm trying my best not to click the buttons too loud, but for some reason, PS4 controllers have really, really loud button clicks. So, if y'all can hear it, I apologize. Hey, look at that. Jaster gained a level. Alright, right over here. See what I'm saying? Everywhere. There are treasure chests everywhere. In this one, we've got heal potions times three. Now this one, you can't open this without the star key. You need to make note of where these treasure chests are. There's three different keys in the game. There's the star key, the sun key, and the earth key. Without those keys, you can't open those chests. Now if you come along a chest that has a little lock like you saw on that one on it and it opens, you need to be prepared for trouble because that's not a treasure chest. That's a daggum mimic and they will screw you up. Oh, that's another thing. As y'all can tell, your secondary weapons run out of bullets. At least on Jaster because he uses a gun. Other characters use, like, daggers and stuff as their secondary weapon. So they don't necessarily run out of bullets like that. But, that's just a word to the wise. Oh, got another fight here. I mean, this opening sequence, uh, this whole game, there are a lot of battles. Like I said, level 5 is a bit sadistic. They're from the old school of RPG. Where, you know, you were expected to be able to handle yourself in combat. You weren't, the, you, your hand wasn't held. Which is why I'm a big fan of their games. Ooh, a Thunderstone. Not that that really does anything yet. So many beasts. As you can see, right here, it's another example. You can't open this without the earth key. Note the, how well can I zoom in here? Okay, note the little like lock thing over the front of the chest. That's always your indicator for a key chest. Now it's like I said, if you come along a, across a chest with one of those on it and it opens, be ready because that is a mimic and you are gonna hurt. Because mimics in this game are ridiculously difficult. Until you get a certain ability on Jaster, then they just kind of become regular enemies. A max seal, those are always good to have. Go ahead and drop down here. Anything hidden down here? It's like I said, I'm not kidding when I say you have to check everywhere. They are sadistic. They hid items everywhere. And we got another battle. Banfus and dragonflies. Let's go ahead and... You can change the battle camera between high and low. I prefer it to be low so it's right by my character. Rather than it being high. And you can jump and hit enemies. So if for some reason your gun or your secondary weapon runs out of ammunition. You can just jump up and hit them in the air. So that you don't have to... Ow, you punk. Hit me while I'm trying to jump and hit you, you little shit. Hey, Jaster gained another level. We're level three. Revelation Flow. This is how abilities work in this game. Press X in panels where a silhouette is displayed if you have the right item. Set it there. When all the items in a group have been filled, you'll learn a new ability. Items can only be set in groups adjacent to previously completed groups. The process, the progress, the revelation is entirely up to you. If I open the menu, we now have revelation. Let's go ahead and open Jaster since it says we can learn a skill. He can now learn Flash Sword because we got that Thunderstone. 
So we're going to go ahead and open it and use it and revealed Flash Sword. He can now use the ability Flash Sword. That opens up Burning Strike level 1, Flash Sword level 2, and Attack Up level 1. Now these Attack Up abilities are passive. They're always active. It's not like I have to specifically choose to use one in battle. They are always active. So once you learn it, it's always there. Anyway, let's keep on moving forward here. Let me kind of pan around real quick. Make sure there's no treasure chest hidden nearby. Okay, we got a little bit of story here, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh. Hey, look who it is. Noisy all of a it's Simon and Steve again. I think it's, yeah, it's Simon and Steve. Or Steve and Simon, in this case, we're going from right, left to right. Chance to score a load of points like this. Let's go check it out. A new bonkers! It's way too dangerous! Come on, this way! Hey! Away from <laughs> Simon's a little bit of a coward, in case you didn't notice, but he's a good character. I do... He's... It's like I said, I don't view him as the most useful character, but he is a good character. Now this right here, you're probably wondering, well, how the heck are we supposed to get across here? This enemy took out the bridge. Here's the benefit with this game. alley -oop. Right down into the water we go. That's unique. For a game like this, an RPG, to have actual swimming mechanics like that, it's very unique. CO2 powders times two. And in this treasure chest, we've got heal potion times three. Those are always great things to find because you're going to find yourself using them a lot. All right, we got ourselves another transporter here. Let's go ahead and throw a save. I think with that save, we'll go ahead and cut this episode off right here. Just got started on the basics here, you know, introducing stuff. If y'all are hyped for this new series, again, make sure you hit that like button down below. First episodes of a series are very important for YouTubers. It lets us know if you like what we're making or not. So if y'all like it, again, and if you're still here, you're awesome. If you're not, hey, it's okay. I understand it's kind of boring to sit here and watch somebody play a game for 30 minutes. I understand that. But either way, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, you know, scoot on over, hit that subscribe button. It needs a little loving from time to time. It, get, it gets kind of depressed if it doesn't. And then it wants to go off and cry in a corner and it's a whole thing. And I don't want to deal with that right now. But anyway, anyway, y'all know who I am. I'm Slaying Asher. I'm the guy who plays video games while he talks in your ear. I'm going to get out of here for right now, but y'all have yourselves a good one, and you know what? I'm going to see y'all in the next episode.